Hey. <laughs> Silly me. There's not even a hole in this cigar. Look at me trying to light it. Let me turn this off for a second. Get rid of that spooky glow. All right. Put a little hole. Welcome to season two, episode three of Toilet Talk. <laughs> you got any cigar in my teeth? No? Okay, good. Now, where were we? That torch, <clears throat> torch sound effect that uh, really uh, livens up this moment. I was thinking, what if I do one whole episode of Total Talk with nothing but lighting a cigar the whole time? Not even say a word, you know. <laughs> Alright. Now. I have a letter here from a viewer like you. And let's see what it says, shall we? Dear AC, that's me. <laughs> Dear AC, about four months ago, the house across the street was sold to a father and son. To a father and son, or so we thought. We later learned it was an older man, about 50, and a young fellow, about 24. I have a lot to say, but I'm going to go through. I'm going to read through this, and then I'll tell you what I have to say. Is not staying lit. Okay. Should I read it from the beginning without stopping? What do you say, boys and girls? All right. About four months ago, the house across the street was sold to a father and son, or so we thought. We later learned it was an older man about 50 and a young fellow about 24. This was a respectable neighborhood before this odd couple moved in. They have all sorts of strange looking company men who look like women. Women who look like men, blacks, whites, Indians. Yesterday, I even saw two nuns go in there. AC, these weirdos are wrecking our property values. How can we improve the quality of this once respectable neighborhood? <laughs> Damn thing won't stay lit. Well, listen, you came to the right place. Well, there's a lot to unpack there. First off, let's go by this line by line, shall we? Dear AC, I like that. I like that. I like that you start out your letter pointing out how dearing I am to you. Yeah, now the damn thing's finally lit, huh? It's a nice cigar. Here, here's the brand. The fucking thing wouldn't stay lit. And then I get my big eyes from my grandma. Dear AC, about four months ago, the house across the street was sold to the father and son, or so we thought. <laughs> So immediately, when I saw that, when I you know read that, I said to myself, uh, "What is it that uh, you know, a gay couple, one older man and one younger?" You know, we later learned it was an older man about fifty and a younger fellow about twenty-four. I mean, if they are, I wonder who's the top. You know, jeez, which would I rather be? Right, would I want to, if I was a young guy, would I want an old man putting his old dick in me? 
Or would I want his old asshole spread open and me putting my dick? I mean, I, I don't know which I pick. This was a respectable neighborhood before this odd couple moved in. Well, you know what? I mean, listen, I, I love my fans. I love the fact that you write to me. I love the fact that you take the time to read this. But don't you think you sound a little bit uh, bigoted here? Just a little bit. You know what, Jeff? Do me a favor. Put a, a bigot-o-meter on here, okay? Wait a second. Wait a second. I just realized something. I'm holding this phone the wrong way. You're not even able to uh, to put like stuff on the sides. See, this is what happens when I run my own production when fucking Heinz isn't here. Okay, let's fix this problem. Okay, let's let's fix this. I assume, I assume the problem is fixed. So, uh, respectable neighbor before this odd couple moved in. They have all sorts of strange looking company. That's strangely. Men who look like women. Well, listen, in this day and age, uh, how, I don't know how strange that is. Women who look like men. Oh, same thing. This is where, honestly, your uh, your letter to me gets kind of comical. This next line here. Here we go. Blacks. <laughs> why is that strange? Like, why is it strange that they have blacks over? What kind of what kind of neighborhood? What kind of people watch toilet talk? Where you write to me and you say the fact that someone has a black and you call them a black. I mean, then you try to you try to make it better by after that saying whites. Blacks, whites, I mean, people, they're people. Who gives a fuck a black? Well, I mean, you sound uh, pretty out of touch here. Blacks, whites, Indians. Oh, God forbid, but I got a real question for you here. When you say Indian, do you mean dot Indians? Like, oh, no, 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 no. Thank you, you know, go 7-Eleven. Or feather Indians, like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, there's, there's a big difference here. I mean, uh, you know, one of them, and I'm not telling you which one, smells a lot different than the other. You know, if, you, if I close my eyes and you bring two Indians in front of me, right? One uh, a dot Indian and one feather Indian, I guarantee you I could tell the difference between the two. That's all I'm saying. Blacks, whites, Indians. I mean, maybe they're maybe they're having like orgies. It sounds like, or maybe it's like the what was it? The, 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 what's, the, what's the name of that uh, that group? That group. They got the Indian. They got the the the, the firefighter. The policeman. They, the village people. There we go. Now Jeff is showing all the village people shit. And okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, yesterday, I even saw two nuns go in there. What? That's the funniest you know, part so far because you'd think if they're doing something debaucherous, right? Something filthy. Like I would assume. Oh! <laughs> like I would assume. See, I really need someone in here when I'm taking a dump holding this camera. Something filthy, like I would assume, you would think that the nuns would want nothing to do with it, right? That's... I can't get my hand comfortable. Uh, there we go. High production value on this program. But what if it's just uh, like people, what if it's some, you know, people in nun costumes? You know, uh, sounds like uh, maybe they're, you know, people pretending to be nuns, transgender nuns or whatever. AC, these weirdos are wrecking our property values. Well, uh, I'm weird. Okay. Here I am, 
right? Here I am, look, look at me. I'm sitting on the fucking can, right? Talking to you. I'm weird. Well, I can't move in. Besides the fact that I can't afford it. I can't move in. How can we improve the quality of this once respectable neighborhood. <laughs> the first burp didn't come out, Jeff, so if you could just add a little burp sound effect to that. And here we go with the torch again. Okay. Well, if you wanna get rid of these neighbors, the easy answer, probably the answer you don't want to hear, is you could move, right? Put it down here. Now. You could move. You don't have. You don't have to live there, right? You know what I need to invest in? I feel like I'm the last person on the planet who doesn't have one of those things to hold their phone with while they're recording. Right? Like I'm doing a really old school. My fucking arm gets tired. So, yeah, you could move. See, like, I'm even leaning my arm up against the wall. You could try moving. Uh, but really, I think maybe the problem's with yourself. They're probably fantastic. How do you know? Go over there. Chat with them. Hang out with them for a while. Maybe they're, maybe they're the greatest fucking uh, neighbors you could imagine. By the way, I got the little Hitler thing going on in my pubic region. The penis is tucked. Don't worry about that. Not like you can see it anyways with this tiny thing. But look, I got the little fucking Adolf Hitler. They got... Uh, I, that's, I'm, I do a horrible uh, Hitler screaming. But, you know, Jeff, can you do some Hitler... Uh, put a Hitler speech here in the background. Oh, yeah, I should shave the sides a little more so we can get the real Hitler thing. It's been a while, but you see, like... Do, do a Hitler speech. Right now, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a weirdo. Would you want me to move? I can't live there besides the fact that I can't afford it. Uh, you know, I think that you might see that what makes you so normal. I uh, Actually, I wouldn't say you're normal and they're weird. I'd say you sound like you're boring and they sound like a lot of fun. So, you could move if it's really a problem, but my real suggestion is, f is for you, dude. I would just say, lighten the fuck up, stop being such a fucking stick in the mud, relax, enjoy it. They may be cool-ass people, who cares? And you know what? Diversity is amazing. I love diversity. The blacks, the whites, the Indians, the men who look like women, the women who look like men, the nuns, all that is beautiful. As long as their heart... Now you do a heart like thumping or whatever. As long as their heart... Is in the right place. You like how I direct live? I tell Jeff to put the heart. I tell him to put the, the torch. I tell him, you know, I like that. And when I ask a question like, do you like how I do That's when you have the kids going, yeah, and all that kind of shit. You know? Anyway, so there's my answer to your, to your question. Um, I would like to thank you for tuning in to this week's, or whenever I feel like putting it up, episode of Toilet Talk. Um... I would like you to know that you can also write the Jeff, run the clip. Let them know right now that they how they could write the toilet talk. If you have a question, relationship problem, something like this going on, advice, career advice, whatever it is, problem with your kids, ask Mr. Know-it-all right here. AC killer. You can write to me at ACKiller at criminalnation.org. A C K I L L E R, that little at symbol, criminalnation.org. Or C N O enterprise at aol.com c is in criminal n is a nation o is an organization c n o e n t e r p r i s e at aol.com all right i think that clip has been ran you know how you can write so feel free to write to us and if you're lucky i'll read your question
next to on the air. On the air? We're not, we're not broadcasting. I'm, just, I'm here in my fucking bathroom taking a dump on the air. On the air, my fucking ass. Speak about my fucking ass. Hold on a second. You know what? I really want to do the uh, the Hitler thing right, but I got too much hair around me. Let's let's shave some of that hair. Hold on a second. Let me go around right here. Let's go around right here. Jeff, yeah, play like an intermission, like they're in like a a, a high class theater, and they have intermission. Hold on. And you can put like a little text that says "We'll be right back" or whatever, you know, with like the red curtain. You know, be creative. Like you did with that news thing. That was beautiful. All right, back. Okay, we're back. Now let's get some food. Okay, now we could do the Hitler thing. I'd like to end Oh, end this episode of Toilet Talk with some uh, Adolf Hitler speech. Sig Heil! In case you don't know German, that means see you next time, baby.